Sierra from GMC Truck. Hey, what's up guys? As you can see behind me, I have this big box. This is my new road bike. It's a GMC $99 Walmart bike and I'm going to take it out of the box and assemble it and let's uh, see how it is. So this is a GMC bike licensed for General Motors but I guess made by Kent in Los Angeles but distributed by Kent International in New Jersey but of course made in China and finally sold in Walmart. First of all the box looks pretty good. I had this shipped directly to my house. It was not available to pick up in the store. I had to uh, ship it to my house. It tells me to wear my helmet which I will not always do and for some reason it says don't ride at night. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't work at night. Okay guys, here's a point that I think some of the Walmart reviewers missed. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the details more closely. First of all, you get an aluminum frame with welds that actually look pretty nice. And by the way, the frame is not just a standard circular tube. It's definitely got some unique shapes to it, such as this one here. I have no idea why it's like that. The down tube is uh, some kind of shape. It's not round. and in fact the top is pretty pointed. One thing while we're over by the seat stay is you'll notice that it does not have uh, mounting holes or anything for a second water bottle unfortunately so you only get one water bottle and I think that's really unfortunate for this bike especially because it's not a lightweight bike it's not a performance racing bike but it could be a good touring bike or something you want to go further distances on so it would be actually really nice if it had a second uh, water bottle mounting option. It does have a plate on the bottom for a kickstand whether you like that or don't. I actually will be taking the kickstand off later. For the bottom bracket it is some sort of uh, loose ball bearing system. Definitely that's not as good but I imagine you can probably upgrade it at a later point if you would like. So personally I like this frame I think it looks pretty nice, it has some interesting shapes, the welds look good, and I think that you should be able to upgrade this frame, or upgrade the components to fit this frame later on, and you have an aluminum frame already, so um, I give the frame a pretty decent thumbs up, with maybe the exception that it's missing some mounts for additional water bottle. Moving on to the fork, again it's an aluminum fork, now this time I do spot a slightly messier weld. But that's just aesthetics. I'm quite positive it's, it's plenty strong. And once again, it's not just a circular tube like you might expect to see on such a low-priced bike, but it's a kind of a bladed fork. The front 
radius is larger then it tapers down to a, a smaller back radius overall the fork looks yeah. good enough pretty nice might look better if it had a different color like maybe black the paint itself going back to the frame a little bit um, it's good but I see some strange effects and I don't know if that's some kind of the packing packing uh, material or what it is but there seems to be some parts that are a bit more glossy than others let me yeah you see that there right there it's like some blotchiness or maybe a coating of some sort this is a quill stem and quite an odd looking one first of all I have no idea why it looks like that I assume that's an aluminium casting but it definitely looks unusual but it's it's still just a typical quill stem but also what's unusual is it appears that the um, stem diameter is too large for the handlebars so they actually put this kind of plastic, I believe it's plastic, a cuff over it as an adapter so that it fits the handlebars. It's kind of strange. Hopefully this diameter is, what is it, 31 millimeters, and then I can fit, you know, standard accessories on it. Moving on to the handlebars. I think you're looking at about 18 and a quarter inches. And my guess is they're using the same handlebars no matter what size frame you get and this is the small frame by the way they call it 19 inches um, my guess is they're using the same handlebars for any frame just out of cheapness and to me these are a little bit larger than what I normally like to ride but that said I did take it for a spin around the block earlier and it feels really comfortable one interesting thing I noticed about it though is um, now maybe I'm wrong but I believe these these uh, handlebars are wrapped incorrectly. Normally, I believe what you would like to have is the wrapping going the other direction so that when you push down, it's not going against, it's not trying to uh, lift up on these. Next thing we can take a look at is the shifters. As you can see, they're not your typical road shifters. We have some twist shifters that you might see on a cheap mountain bike. It's called Revo Shift easy gear changing Shimano brand obviously this was done just to save money on manufacturing maybe also for beginners they would think that they would prefer this type of shifting I'm not really sure what the idea was you know that's obviously not as good but whatever what do you expect for 99 bucks interestingly this front one is a friction shift which means it doesn't even uh, have set one two three positions you just have to turn it until it's in the right place very very old school whereas the one the right one over here does have the click shift positions brakes you do have typical levers the logo or whatever is scratched off I didn't notice that before the other one is here it's called radius one thing that stands out to me with these with these brakes first of all the positioning was fine like I actually liked the positioning right away but I believe the pull is shorter than it should be or harder to to pull than other bikes I've rode so something's a little bit non-standard with that I feel feels quite hard to pull moving on to the saddle and seat post pretty standard setup here and like I said I did go around the block with this bike already once and the seat actually felt extremely comfortable very soft like I'm riding some kind of cruiser rather than rather than a road bike so let's take a look at the brakes now. Of course, they are not going to be anything fancy. They are a single pivot uh, rim brake. Of course, no branding at all, but otherwise pretty typical. There is some adjustment which you can make and right up here. And it's the same story with the front brake too, by the way, nothing different. So let's take a look at the wheels. They are aluminum wheels with some stickers that say these wheels are attached to no branded hubs which are loose ball bearing not sealed and by the way they are not the truest wheel yeah that's pretty bad they're definitely not a uh, slick tire they do have some gripping profile which again is absolutely fine for this application these are 32 millimeters I think it's pretty nice for this type of bike I don't have a problem with that um, brand 
who knows who cares for the pedals we have some awful plastic in the middle very thin gauge aluminum on the outside the cranks actually match the stickers on the wheels which again is this uh, VIT SS I don't know how to say it VIT the length is printed as 170 obviously these are made out of uh, steel nice and heavy which also matches the chainring so we have your typical steel 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 chainring and moving on to the front derailleur it is Shimano branded at least it looks like most of it is made out of metal and let's move on back to the freewheel it's a seven speed going down to the rear derailleur it looks again to be Shimano branded I do see some plastic here although that yeah I thought that might be a cover but I think that's actually a plastic body there's your hanger looks like some stamped steel for the hanger going into a plastic body going into a sheet metal uh, extender unit I don't know if that's the right term okay so that's an overview of all the components just one thing to note uh, so, so there's no confusion the saddlebag I purchased and added on separately as well as the pump and the mount for the pump water bottle cage was included water bottle was not included but everything else on the bike is exactly as it came clear down to the pedals and the cheesy kickstand next thing I'm going to do right now is go ahead and set this up a little bit more the way I want it by removing most of these frame stickers oh and by the way about the frame stickers they aren't even that good not only are they ugly but uh, some of them aren't applied too well as you can see here that's just an example of how a lot of these stickers look 